Matt Tab Morris, founder of Schrodinger'sPress.com and head designer for the Genesis Press open source large format 3D printer. Instead of waiting for the next generation of printers to come along, we decided that we should just design it and build it ourselves and give back our designs to the open source community. I've had a huge background in robotics, computer science, just engineering in general, and I've Used lots of fabrication tools, CNC mills, used many 3D printers, got anywhere from using ceramic toner and powder to maker bots and solid doodles. And none of them just quite can't quite add up to when I'm wanting to actually create something on a larger scale that people can get for the same price as one of those printers and actually create something that's up to 30 inches tall. Like a full prosthetic leg, like my full robot, printed off, and I just have to plug in the motors and I'm good to go for a competition bridges the gap between a desktop 3D printer and a large-scale rapid prototyping machine. And up until now, students have been limited to creating small fabricated parts. In terms of size, Genesis Press is not a desktop 3D printer. It's a printer that you put next to your desk. Genesis Press focuses on reliability. When you're printing in large formats, a failed print is a lot of wasted material. In order to ensure against that, we created Genesis with a glass print bed for perfect stability, a, an auto calibration system so that leveling isn't an issue anymore, and put it in a fully enclosed print environment so that we can control the temperature and the humidity during printing. One of the ways that we can ensure this kind of flexibility and reliability is with our dual geared, high torque, fully open source print head. Genesis Press is amazing. It can actually print things that I can never imagine of actually having. It produces the kind of prints that we really wanted when we first heard about 3D printing. Uh, it produces the instruments, the prototypes, the, the working large-scale prints. 